What's up, peeps? T Money up in the easy. Happy Tuesday evening. Uh, here to do a collection update for you guys. Um, I've got a couple packages that came in the mail today, actually. Everything that I'm going to show you is from today, with the exception of one thing that I got at Goodwill yesterday. So I'll show you that real quick. But um, I have a Mondo Macabro package, an Amazon package, and a Severn package. Um, so let's get right up in this. The first thing I have to show you is Predator on Blu ray. Grabbed this at uh, my local Goodwill for four bucks, I think, yesterday. Uh, not a bad price for a good film. I thought I had this, but I actually turns out that I don't. Now I got to grab the second one on Blu-ray as well. I don't even think I have this on DVD. So great film. Who doesn't love Predator? Um, yeah. So it was finally time to add it to the collection, and uh, I'm glad that it was available at Goodwill. So sometimes you do find, um, you know, you get lucky at Goodwill. Not often, but. For me, something like this is a perfect find, so that's that. Uh, let's get into the Amazon.com order that I have here in this box. Um, should be, I think, two Blu-rays. Yep. All right, cool. So, let's see. Open. All right, so somebody and... Um, shout out to whoever you may be, I actually forget who, but I think it was actually just on the Facebook cult media group, alerted me to, uh, Amazon had this for $14.99 on sale, so I finally decided to pull the trigger on it, uh, it's a movie that I, or I mean a TV show, it's the one TV show of the whole season that I never, I was always reluctant to get it on Blu-ray because it was always ex really expensive for the longest time, uh, of course it doesn't come with a slip cover which would have been cool. But um, for the price, $14.99 shipped from Amazon, I had to do it. Uh, so thank you, random person who alerted me to this being on sale on Amazon, because it's already back up to 30 bucks. So um, that was really cool that I was able to find American Horror Story Coven on Blu-ray. It's a three-disc set for $15. And so guys, I do have... Um, Season, uh, I'm sorry, uh, American Horror Story Coven on DVD two times over. So if anybody's interested, 10 bucks for season three, I will sell you uh, 10 shipped. Um, and let me know. And yeah, you can get it. It's an okay season. Not my favorite. But, um, you know, I definitely wanted to have it because I had all the other ones on Blu-ray. I do wish it came with a slipcover, but it didn't. But yeah, for the price, I couldn't. Uh, pass it up. So again, if anybody needs American Horror Story Coven on DVD, I have it uh, two times actually. So, all right. And next up, we have a new release from Mill Creek, uh, Jean Claude Van Damme, five movie set. Got this for eleven bucks and change on Amazon. Um, can't go wrong with some good old cheesy action Van Damme. Uh, we have Maximum Maximum Risk, Double Team, Universal Soldier: The Return. Uh, which is great because I think I have the first film. Then the Hardcore, the Hard Corps, and Second in Command. Uh, it's a two-disc set. Nice Vortex uh, double-disc case. You really can't go wrong with uh, Mill Creek. I think for the price point, as I've mentioned many times before, uh, it's just good deals to be had. So 11 bucks for five movies on Blu-ray. Uh, you know that's a good popcorn. This is a good night. <laughs> Excuse me. This would make for a good night with some popcorn. And, um, yeah, I don't know, five different fucking Van Damme movies, so, Qu any, quite a selection, but yeah, so good stuff there. Let's get into the Mondo Macabro, um, Blu-ray that's in here. So I did, I was lucky enough to grab the limited red case edition of their latest release, which is right here, um, and it came in the mail today. So let's open it up, get inside it, see what we got. Um, I usually miss out on the red case editions a lot of the time, and I'm always mad at myself for missing the boat because they go for a fortune on eBay once they sell out. But uh, this one I knew I wanted, and they had posted something on the website, like a, a, a date and time that it was going to be available. So I wrote it down on my hand, I think, and uh, or I made note of it and um, was able to get it. So I'm really stoked for that. So this here is uh, the limited red case edition of, um, who directed this now? Uh, Narciso Ibanez, 
Sarad Sarador, maybe? I can't, uh, I don't know. The font is kind of weird. But uh, Who Can Kill a Child? This movie is fantastic. It is uh, kind of hard to watch, but I really enjoy it. It's a great movie. <laughs> Excuse me, from 1976. Uh, this is a limited edition. I got number 193 out of 1,000. Um, it's it's an unsettling movie. I shouldn't say it's a great movie. It's it, it's good for what it is, but it's very unsettling. <laughs> um, an English tourist couple rent a boat to visit the island of Almazora, just off the southern Spanish coast. When they arrive, they find the island apparently empty of adults. There are only children who don't speak, but just stare at the strangers with eerie smiles on their faces. The English couple soon discover that all the island's children have been possessed by a mysterious force, a kind of madness which they can pass from one to another, and which makes them attack and murder their elders, who can't defend themselves because, of course, nobody can kill a child. Um, this film was highly controversial on its original release in the 70s and was heavily cut in most countries. This Blu-ray presents the full version of the film, but also includes the shorter Island of Death release which does not include the opening documentary footage. The film influenced many subsequent books and movies, including Children of the Corn, and was remade in 2012 under the title of Come Out and Play. The version on this Blu-ray is the definitive release of what has come to be recognized as the classic of world horror. <coughs> so, yes, really, really stoked for this, uh, to finally have this movie on Blu-ray. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen it, and I can't wait to revisit it for sure. Um, of course, Modern Macabre releases always come available. Uh, in the future, they'll have a standard release, so you'll be able to get your hands on it if you're interested. But it's a great Killer Kids movie. Highly recommend you guys check it out, uh, if at all interested. Um, what, what else was I going to say about this? Jeez. Uh, um, drawing a blank. Do, 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 do. It's a Spanish horror movie as well, just so you guys know. But, yeah, classic. So, um, great. Really stoked on that. <laughs> and last but not least, we have the long-awaited... Highly anticipated. Actually, this release came out pretty quickly. All of a sudden, there was an announcement, a flash of it on like uh, social media, and then boom, before you know it, it's in my hands. It's in my hands. And the movies that are in this box are, I love them both to death. Classics. Uh, they just really remind me of my college days where I would get all sorts of fucked up and watch them with my buddies and just have a great old time because they're cheesy um schlocky b-movie horror zombie flicks i love them very much this is from severin and it is two release actually it's three films in here one i'm not familiar with the other two i absolutely love so i'm really excited to check out the one but i opted to go with the not so fancy package that they had for this bundle i opted not to go with the posters just because i don't have any room for any posters anymore so i just went with the three blu-rays which was more than good enough for me. And uh, let's see. So first up, we have the movie that I've never seen before with a nice slip cover. Uh, it is Terminator 2, also known as... Um, <coughs> what? Uh, I'm drawing a blank now on the name of this movie. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, it's something dark, right? Um, after, not after dark. Um, well, shocking dark, shocking dark, sorry. So yeah, and I've never heard of this, so let's read the synopsis together. It's from director Bruno Matai, who also brought, brought us such classics as um, Violence in a Woman's Prison, all kinds of schlocky good stuff. Claudio Fergasso and Rossello Drudi uh, co-wrote co the film. Um, and let's see, so their final and most notorious collaboration went beyond brazen plagiarism to become a fearless act of deranged genius. In this bravura ripoff, I don't know what that means, of both Aliens and Terminator, a team of badass marines, a tough female civilian and an orphan girl battle monsters beneath the Venice canals while being chased by an indestructible killer cyborg. Have we mentioned the, out, the overwrought dialogue, over-the-top performances, and ultimate what-the-fuck twist ending? Jaretta Jaretta from Demons and Tony Lombardo from Rats Night to Terror star in this schlockfest of awesome actually released outside the U.S. as Terminator 2 and Alienators and never before available in America, now scanned in 2K from the director's cut, negative, discovered in a Rome lab vault. Excellent. So really excited for this. Never seen it before. It'll be kind of like a, my first time experience in the film. Oh, got to be careful while I open this so as not to... 
scratch the slip cover. I should be getting them all out of those plastic wraps for my Blu-ray, so I probably shouldn't even be opening this until I get those in, but fuck it. Show you guys. Huh? Living on the edge, yeah, right? Fuck it. Living living on the edge. Well said, Aunt. Um For you guys, you know? I do this for you. Alright, so uh, this is the reversible cover artwork, a.k.a. Or, I mean, uh, reversible title. Shocking Dark. I actually do dig Terminator 2 better. And is that not a rip-off of Terminator? I mean, Jesus. Craziness. Cheese some crow. Jiminy Crickets. What the hey? Shnikes. Trying to be shnikes. Holy shnikes. Trying to be politically correct like some of the other fine YouTubers out there, but I just can't do it. It's just not me, guys. I'd be lying to you if I said, what the heck. All right. So, anyways, there's the um, disc artwork in there. And no reversible cover artwork, but sweetness. Really excited. This slip is pretty dang tight, though. I don't... That's one thing about the Severn Films releases. Their slips are always... Vida, vida tight. But anyway, beautiful. Beautiful! I love it so much. Okay, now we get into the coolness, guys. I'm a huge fan of both of these movies. Like I said, I watched the hell out of them in college. See, there I go. Um, I watched the shit out of them in college. And to this day, uh, I was just so thrilled when I found out they were being released on Blu-ray. Uh, we have the controversial, partially directed Lucio Fulci, a.k.a. Claudio Fracasso, Bruno Mattai pickup, uh, Zombie 3. I like this movie a lot. Um, it's very, very different from Zombie 2, obviously. It, it's just a different, unique zombie film. The zombies are more like, I don't know why I'm describing this. Everybody's seen this movie. But it's classic. And uh, it's ninja zombies, um, and it's action-packed, and it's just a lot of fun. I love it. What is it? Death 2? The virus that's injected in all the people, and they become these, like, ninja zombies that run around and infect people, and it's just craziness. But it's a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. There's only 3,000 of these made, so if you guys want a copy of this, go get it. Uh, I highly recommend it. It's been a while since this... Uh, I mean, I just highly recommend the film. I enjoyed it. It's a blast. But I, you know, I didn't realize that it was getting a release until not even a month ago. So I'm really happy, actually, that it came out so soon after I heard about its, it being released. Um, what to say about it? I've heard good things about the transfer. I haven't obviously seen it myself yet, but I'm going to pop it in really soon. And uh, only 3,000 of them made, guys. So if you want it, I would highly suggest you go get it because this is a title that probably... Uh, and there's also a CD soundtrack that's included, so that's really, really cool. Because these the soundtracks on Zombie 3 and Zombie 4 are just kick-ass. Just super 80s, <coughs> corny, action, um, rock and roll-y. Yeah, just like kick-ass rock and roll soundtrack. But um, So this release also has a... It's chock full of special features. You get uh, The Last Zombies interview with uh, co-director, co-writer Claudio Fragasso and co-writer Rosella Drudy. Tough Guys, an interview with actors stuntman Massimo Vanni and Ottoviani Otto Delacqua. Uh, the Problem Solver, interview with replacement director Bruno Mattai, because of course the story behind this is Fulci was very, very sick. Uh, he had, I think, cirrhosis of the liver, and he was just a total mess. It was probably six years before Fulci's death in 94, because it's 88, but uh, he was just a hot mess during the filming of this movie. A trooper at that, but uh, it, it did get out of hand and he did need replacement directors so Claudio uh, Fragasso and Bruno Mattai came in to finish the film save the day uh, so you've got interviews with them you've got swimming with zombies an interview with actress Marina Loy in, in the zombie factory an interview with FX artist Franco Di Giulomo Girolamo audio commentary with stars Darian Stefan and Beatrice Ring um, and yeah I heard Beatrice Ring is kind of a douche but actually um, I heard the commentary is okay, with the exception of um, the descriptive, um, or the description of how Fulci was like so ill during the filming. I guess it's kind of vulgar, or whatever. According to my man Pizzow, I watched his uh, review of the film. Anyway, I love Zombie Three, so I highly recommend that one. Of course, this one's limited to three thousand copies as well. 
I love this movie even more than Zombie 3. Zombie 4, um, a.k.a. Well, After Death. I had both of these. I had these movies in a box set uh, from Shriek Show. Uh, there was one other movie as well, Killing Birds. So it was the three of them, I believe. Um, uh, it was Zombie 3, 4, and then 5 is Killing Birds. Uh, but I'm so happy they did without Killing Birds because uh, Zombie 3 and Zombie 4 are where it's at. They're the only ones you need, in my opinion. Um, and I absolutely adore this film. It's so much fun. Uh, I love the, this one inc incorporates more voodoo, uh, mysticism, aka demonic possession. The zombies are more like demons, man, in this one. They're just brutal. The, uh, the, the zombie possession slash transformation sequences are very similar to like, um, um, what's his name? Uh, uh, demons, um, Umberto Lenzi's demon, or I'm sorry, Umberto Baba's demons. Lamberto Baba, Lamberto Lenzi, Lamberto Baba, Lamberto Baba's uh, demons, they're very similar to that, but this movie's great, it takes place in like this um, Amazonia type place, and these survivors, um, I don't know, it's, it's great, uh, let's see, this one has less special features, it's got Run Zombie Run, an interview with director Claudio Fergasso, and screenwriter Rosselli Drudy, Jeff Stryker in Manila, interview with actor Chuck Chayton, Chuck Payton, I'm sorry. So I think he was like a porn star turn actor for this movie. Uh, Blonde versus Zombies interview with... Was he a gay porn star? I'm not sure. I think he may have been. Um, let's see. Blonde vs. Zombies interview with actress Candace Daly, who actually I think was murdered in real life. Uh, behind the scene footage. So this was obviously uh, recorded and filmed prior to her death. Uh, and it is a grand Z-grade movie. I'll read you the synopsis real quick. In between the celebrated insanities of Zombie 3 and Troll 2... Director Claudio Fergasso and writer collaborator Rosella Drudy put the pen, penultimate batish, batch, I'm sorry, put the penultimate batshit nail in the coffin of the legendary zombie series when a white scientist cured for cancer and rages an island voodoo priest. It will unleash, whoa, I just spit. Uh, it will unleash the ultimate plague of ninja zombies. Exploding heads, appall, exploding heads kick ass in this movie, by the way. The exploding head sequences are fantastic and I like this movie more than zombie 3 because it's more there's a lot more gore in it it's a lot more brutal uh, sorry uh, exploding heads appalling performances I'm just excited eye gouging face ripping power ballads excellent music soundtrack appalling performances oh I already read that and big bloody mouthfuls of flesh chomping havoc and that's just the first 20 minutes which are unfortunately the best of the film adult film superstar Jeff Stecker yeah so it's just a rocking good time man if you like zombie films and um, uh, zombie voodoo type films and also like demonic transformation sequences from like demons and stuff you'll love this movie it's a mouthful for sure um, yeah it's just a lot of fun the soundtrack kicks ass it's so 80s it's so dirty like retro poison 80s I don't know how to describe it but so anyway guys yeah um, really really stoked for the Severn releases in this lot in particular um, and everybody should go out and get these if you guys are fans of 80 zombie flicks because there's only 3,000 uh, released of each. And also, both of these, Zombie 3 and Zombie 4, include uh, Blu-ray slash CD soundtracks. So if you guys want to rock out to some cheesy goodness in your car or whatever, uh, you can. I should have probably played the music through during this video. It would have been fitting, but... I didn't, but anyway, guys, so that's it. That's my haul. I've got five movies uh, today, so thank you for watching, as always, and um, I'll catch you guys very soon with another update. I've got a few things coming, nothing too crazy, but as I always say, uh, more to come, so stay tuned, and um, help me, guys. I need your help. I am, like, fucking teetering on 400 sub subscribers for, like, two months now, so I'm not whining or complaining. I'm just saying spread the love i could really use the help i uh, would be greatly appreciated and like i said the sooner we can get to 500 subscribers the sooner you guys have a chance to win some dank shit so uh oh wow i forgot this too so anyway thanks for watching catch you guys soon have a good night peace